Hello and welcome to the gritty and somewhat undiscovered city of Łódź in central Poland. We were warned against visiting Łódź and that's exactly why we came here. So let's go and explore this city and see what it has to offer. Let's go! Dziękuję. Do widzenia. Now, the first stop on our list today is the Manufaktura here, directly in the center of Łódź. This giant complex opened in the year of 2006 and before it was a textile factory, now it's kind of the center of commerce, so you have a huge mall in there. It's a center of arts as well, leisure, um, you have loads and loads of sporting events happening all around here, maybe even concerts every now and then. So it's a huge area of 27 hectares that they rebuilt um, to make this great complex here where everybody just kind of comes together. The Manufaktura is an incredibly unique setting and an absolutely massive shopping mall. We actually had a look through the shopping mall there just the other day and there is an unlimited amount of things that you can do inside Manufaktura. They also have a cinema city as well which is absolutely fantastic. You have all of the recent released movies in there and something that we have noticed actually quite a bit about Poland in general is that they do love their movies. There's a cinema in every place that we've been in so far and they love those IMAX kind of 4K cinematography as well and we love that as well. We definitely want to go and check a movie out soon. I still haven't seen Top Gun so that is on the list but check this place out here. There is sort of a man-made beach just in front of Manufaktura, obviously set up for people to come, chill out, and maybe play some ball sports as well. Look at this. Doesn't get much more unique, interesting, um, or as cool as this. Now the mall side of Manufaktura is just absolutely massive and you actually can get lost here. Um, the other day when we walked through here, I think we got lost several times and then somehow ended up in the food court. No idea how we got there. It was not our intention, but we ended up in the food court, which is also amazing. Um, but Manufaktura in general, it offers a lot of stores that are very high end, such as just like Michael Kors, um, I believe Gucci, like these types of places. But it also offers like low end, like H&M or maybe Pull and Bear and all of that good stuff so it does offer something for every wallet out there. Now the opinion on Woj is very mixed. We have received plenty of comments about Woj. Some of them saying that Woj is the Detroit of Poland. We even had one comment saying to absolutely avoid Woj at all costs. Now that really intrigued us and it actually made us come and check this place out. As you know, or as you can tell from a lot of our videos that we make here on YouTube, we like to go a little bit off the beaten path as often as we can. We don't typically stick to just the regular tourist path. There was plenty of comments as well on a community post that we put up where people said that they really think Woods is underrated. We even put up a poll on that particular post and it was split basically 50-50. 50% said Woods is underrated and a great city and the other 50% said it's depressing and boring. So that's what we're here to find out. Is Woods depressing or is Woods an underrated gem of Poland? The next stop on our list is Passage Rosi or in English Roses passage, which is a huge art, art project where artists covered around 800 square meters of walls, houses, doorways, windows and all and everything around the house basically in little broken mirror pieces and all of the individual mirror pieces have a different size so they were not broken in like squares or something like that so that it makes it easy to cover basically. It's just very individual broken mirrors that have different sizes on the walls. Now Rosa's passage here in Woods is fascinating and it's fascinating for us and for me 
in fact because of the contrast that it shows between two parts of wood. Now there's one part that is here behind me right now if you can see this building here um, and this actual street here in general a lot of the buildings and a lot of the doorways are kind of dilapidated a little bit old torn and have certainly seen a lot throughout history and then you also have roses passage and it is just stunningly beautiful bright creative and it shows that really inspiring new creative side to the city of Woj and there's also so many beautiful roses and flowers that are surrounding Roses Passage as well such as these ones right here. I'm really wondering here that in the summertime, for example, when the sun gets really, really strong and broken and those little mirror pieces, if it gets insanely hot here in the passage itself, or if maybe like little pieces of flowers have been set on fire by the mirrors itself or something like that, um, that would be really interesting to know. If you know that, let us know in the comments down below. Rose's Passage here in Woj is certainly one of the most unique places that we've come across so far here in Poland in terms of creativity and just purely showing how creativity can uplift a certain area of a place such as the city of Łódź. And we're going to try and see if we can get the drone up in the air and get a bird's eye view of what this place looks like. By the way, today it was supposed to be only 22 degrees Celsius and both of us were like, okay, it's not that hot. So we both decided to go with hoodies and I even put on some long pants and let me tell you something, we both regret it. <laughs> we're both sweating our little, you know, what's off. Uh, it's very hot. <laughs> Right now we are on the steps of this magnificent looking church that is at kind of the beginning of a very significant and important street here in the city of Łódź, Piotrkowska Street. Now tell me if I'm pronouncing that one wrong, I think I might be okay with that. But speaking of pronunciations, this church um, is called Kosio ze Swania Ducha Svietego. Now, that is a mouthful, and that is something that I certainly have pronounced wrong. Let me know down below if I completely and utterly destroyed it. Um, we looked it up on Google Maps. There is no actual English name for this church that is showing on Google Maps, but do let us know what it translates to down below. Now, we actually thought that the church was closed because all of the doors were closed. You know, usually one of the doors in the church is usually open for the people to walk in. But somebody just walked out of there very casually. So I assume we can just go in and check it out. <laughs> wow. This church is absolutely stunning. Every single corner of it. You can tell that this building in general has gone through quite a lot throughout the ages. Uh, you can see the wear and tear on a lot of the walls and it is very beautiful. It definitely has not been touched up in quite some time and you can see a lot of the structures and a lot of the sort of engravings on the walls are just magnificent. Um, really, really just beautiful place to be. The acoustics in here are fantastic so I'd say Attending a mass in here would be amazing, just with the priest's voice echoing around this building. It is a very tall building, so the ceiling kind of carries up all the way around two or three floors. It is quite a tall, if you can see, all the way up. And we are the only ones in this church right now, which is quite an eerie feeling but it is very beautiful and the lighting that's coming in these stunning uh, church windows just gives it a really sort of surreal um, and kind of cinematic feel 
uh, as we're walking around this beautiful church. Now we are currently on Ulica Piotrkowska and this is the, one of the main tourist attractions of Łódź because it is one of the longest commercially used streets in all of Europe. This street here is 4.2 kilometers long. There's nearly no traffic. You obviously have a lot of cyclists and every now and then you do see a car uh, for deliveries, I suppose, for the shops. But it's predominantly for pedestrians and cyclists and all along the street on 4.2 kilometers you just have restaurants and cafes and clothing shops and places where you can buy books all of that good stuff on a total of 4.2 kilometers which is absolutely amazing and i do think if you ever come to Łódź, you should check out this street and walk the entire distance the city of Łódź has a very detailed and decorated history in the textile and manufacturing industry and you can certainly see that in a lot of the buildings as you are walking down the main street of Piotrkowska. Piotrkowska Street, even though it is a main tourist attraction or one of the main tourist attractions of Łódź, and it brings a lot of people, you can see that it's absolutely bustling and there's plenty of people and cafes and restaurants, etc. And the vibe here is really laid back, but you do see remnants and leftovers of the industrial industry and of the history of the city of Łódź. And then you also see the comparison to that where there's new buildings, new businesses, entrepreneurial, different setups, sort of hipster cafes, tattoo parlors, all of these sorts of things are kind of integrating into the old industrial chic of the city. And it really creates a very unique and tasteful vibe to Łódź. I think if you wanted to, you could really spend all day here on Ulica Piotrkowska. And what I think is really, really interesting is that you have these small little alleyways and it's like every like kind of second or third house that you can go through. And then on the other side, you have a lot more shops. So like, it's really interesting to just walk through all of the alleyways and kind of see what's on the other side, because I just saw one where there was kind of like a hidden cafe or maybe like hidden restaurants and all of that good stuff. So I think it would be really interesting to just spend a, an entire day just basically uh, experiencing and investigating the little alleyways. Now for a city that so many people like to talk trash about, I'm seeing an awful lot of construction sites and plenty and plenty of money is going in and being invested into this city to expand it. And you can see it right now here on Piotrkowska Street. This place is absolutely thriving. There's plenty of very new looking restaurants, plenty of beautiful cafes, and you can certainly see plenty of money in the area. We saw quite a lot of new cars, new BMWs, etc. And a lot of the apartment buildings and blocks around here appear to be quite fancy as well. So, Woods, it's really not that bad. It's actually quite beautiful from what we can see so far. Certain areas in the city of Woods gives you that really old school type of, as we said earlier, industrial style vibe. But then you come to somewhere such as off Piotrkowska, off Piotrkowska. It is basically a totally newly placed Tons of different food stalls, creative atmosphere, loads of sort of undiscovered, underground, new brands, locals that are selling their own recipes, stuff like that. And it is absolutely astonishing to see. The vibe here is just so much younger. You see a lot more young people hanging out around this particular area. And it's a really, really cool place. And it seems like a nice place to come pop open a beer on a beautiful sunny day such as today, lay out on some of these loungers and just take in the nice atmosphere in the city of Łódź. Now off Piotrkowska, this general area here, um, it's a space that is used for various purposes. So you do have a lot of restaurants and bars, but you also have loads of small kind of alternative shops where you can get handcrafted goods and um, street food as well. Lots of street food stands. But this general area here 
um, was used as a cotton mill production factory up until 1990. So you still get kind of the vibe of uh, kind of a cotton mill type of place, so like a factory feeling like with the red brick um, walls as well and the big windows with the with the metal in front of it but it is made in a very very nice way where everything kind of seems very alternative and just not as the rest of the city so this is a very special place to come to so we just had a little bit of a pit stop here at Galleria Wuj or Galleria Wujka another shopping mall that you definitely should check out if you do get the time and if you are in the vicinity of Łódź in central Poland. <laughs> it is one of the many shopping malls that you can find. We have actually, just in this video, been to three different malls. The first one was Manufactura, then we went to Off, uh, Piotrkowska, and then you have Galeria Łódźka. And we basically went in, we went to like a Polish buffet, um, there was plenty of different things that you could find there. I went for like potato pancakes, some really good green beans, um, an amazing sauce, and then I had like a cutlet as well. And I picked up a glass of beer just to something that's a little bit on the refreshing side. Poland has some really fantastic beers. Uh, we have a video from Zakopane where we did a food and beer tour and I got to sample some great Polish beer and ever since then I have really just loved the beer in Poland and I actually got a just a bottle of Lech beer with that meal and it is a fantastic place to go if you are looking for some good tasty cheap Polish food. In that Zakopane video we actually got a little bit drunk I think <laughs> maybe a little bit too drunk to film a YouTube video but we did it anyway so we got through it um, but I, what I wanted to add is that even though it is a mall food and it is a buffet type of food it is really really tasty and very affordable as well so um, I think I got like a schnitzel as well and some of these potato pancakes um, with some spinach and some sauce and I think for the both of us we paid something like 15 euro I want to say yeah something like that somewhere between 12 and 15 yeah um, fantastic food great little pit stop and we are on our way now to the I think it's going to be possibly the final destination yeah. great movie by the way but we are on our way to the last destination <laughs> My God. in this video yeah Wood, if you can't tell already it's a fantastic city very underrated don't believe all of this BS around it being a down and dreary and grey. There are parts of it that are like that, don't get us wrong. <laughs> um, the place where we're staying outside of the centre, it does look a little bit beaten. But we're off to check another very cool part of the city. For sure, let's do this. Now we are currently taking a walk through the post-industrial area of Fabrichna. And this is where you will find the 19th century Alexander Navsky Cathedral, as well as a stunning area, which we are on our way to. <laughs> we popped it into Google Maps and hopefully we will be there soon. It's called, I'm gonna absolutely destroy this name, Kiesi Muin. Um, red brick, post-industrial chic buildings, very incredibly beautiful and we are hoping fingers crossed that we will get to come in explore this trendy little area that has been recommended to us so many times by you guys down in the comments and on instagram as well actually and wow we have just stumbled across the sign that is signaling the entrance to the area itself uh, I would just wanted to give it a shot at pronouncing it as well. Um, I believe it's Xieji Muin because now Xieji because the Z is kind of like the Zabka Z, so I kind of feel like it's Xieji Muin. <laughs> anyway, it kind of looks like it is the end stop of a train here. Um, so as you can see here, you have all of the train tracks and then you have the beautiful sign for the Xieji Muin area. <laughs> now this area here in English priests 
mill, by the way, um, was built since the 1824, I believe, um, if I read that correctly and remember that correctly. But now it is more of a mixed development type of area. So like you have loads of housing estates in this area, restaurants, cafes, offices. So everything that would possibly could need, you can find here in this area. But all of this used to be um, everything surrounding textile. So loads and loads of um, cotton spinning factories, for example, or other textile type of factories that could just play into the industry that would kind of occupied in the 1800s. Walking through this area, it's just absolutely beautiful. All these red brick houses, there's just something very special about when all of the places in one small area just look identical. It just kind of has this weird, strange cinematic vibe to it where it just, it's so photogenic. And we didn't, I personally didn't think that people were actually living in these buildings. And then we just saw some people standing outside having a cigarette um, in what is their front garden, which is this beautiful walkway, um, big open green space in front of their house as well. And this whole area just, as Naomi was briefly saying there, you've got restaurants and everything that you could need. And the setting is just out of this world. It's just so post-industrial, sort of new vibe to it as well, because there's so much creativeness going on. There's plenty of sort of hipster style cafes. Um, there's a delicatessy place just that I'm looking at right now, 24 hours uh, store where you can get everything you need, alcohol wise, food wise, anything you could want. This place is really cool and it's definitely added to your list as soon as you can, if you are planning on visiting the city of Wood. Now, as Luke was saying, um, all of these red brick houses certainly feel like you just stepped into like a movie set or something. And all of a sudden you are like, part of a movie that takes place somewhere in the 1850s or something like that and um, but I personally really really feel like all of these red brick houses are kind of like an empty canvas and it gives you it gives your own creativity enough space to kind of flourish like it really feels like you want to get creative as soon as you touch this area all right so to be 100% honest with you guys when we came to Woj for the first time, meaning just a few days ago. I had the impression that around 50% of people have about Woj, and I genuinely thought that it was boring, gray, kind of depressing. There wasn't really much to do. I was walking around Woj with Naomi and looking around and being like, why would someone come here? But now, after today, after exploring around, after truly immersing ourselves into the city of Woj, I can really see the other side of the coin. And I can see that Woj is absolutely an underrated gem of a city. And it's somewhere actually that I would say that you need to visit as soon as you possibly can. A lot of these cities such as Krakow, Dansk, all of this type of stuff, they always make the same lists and people year after year visit Poland and they go to the Tatras, they go to Morskioko, we went to Morskioko, we went to the Tatras, Zakopane, Krakow, check, check, check. They check off all of these amazing places and all of those places are absolutely must visit destinations. We, we don't deny that. But they leave places like Woj, places like Katowice and plenty of other amazing parts of Poland just seemingly drop off of people's lists. And that's why we came here to this city. And to be honest, my first impression is you're either going to love this place or you're going to absolutely hate this place. And for me right now, I am somewhere leaning towards loving it. What do you think? I absolutely agree with this. Um, I do think in the beginning we had a little bit of a negative impression of Woj as well because kind of the first, I want to say four days 
it was just raining so like it was really gray and we were kind of just sitting in our airbnb not really knowing what to do um we couldn't go outside we were just seeing this gray image outside of our window um we are also not staying in the best area so we have to add that um but i do think Wuj overall definitely is a very unique place and it's very different like it feels different to the rest of poland as well um in a very unique way um so i think you will either going you you are either going to resonate with the city or you won't um but i do agree with luke there i do think it's i resonate more towards the positive i do think um Wuj is definitely worth visiting maybe not for two or three weeks but definitely for like a weekend trip or like four days or something like that i think that would be enough for wood but you should put it on your list just to kind of see this beautiful and very very unique part of earth um but I think that is it from us today, you guys. We are going to order another bolt now in order to get home because we walked so far today that uh, we don't want to walk all the way back or find the next train, I'd say, no? Yeah, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, Łódź, I think, is the third largest city in Poland. Yeah. You wouldn't actually believe that, but as we walked around today, we walked a considerable amount. I think For we sure. easily covered like 10 or 12 kilometers today alone and we still haven't even seen like a third of the city itself um so so many of you keep telling us in the comments and you haven't even seen the great part of the city it's like yeah but we already walked 20 kilometers yeah <laughs> poland is a big place yeah but um we've been using bolt um some of you guys that might have watched our bielsko biała series we used bolt to get to some places there so we're going to be using one now to get back home uh, to our accommodation Definitely guys, come and check Woj out as soon as you can. My name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two mad explorers. And this is your daily reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Go ahead, baby. Hello, baby. Thanks very much for watching this video. We just launched our community, our channel memberships here on YouTube. So if you want to be part of this community, make sure to check out the benefits and perks down below. All of this is only possible because of you guys and with your support, we will be able to keep going for a lot longer.